my thought was that uh, onboarding to the future of money shouldn't be um, that painful and difficult. And, and this route is uh, treacherous and, uh, and, and, and hard to navigate in, in a way that a lot of noobs are being sucked into these tangents, uh, you know, fake projects and fake promises that distracts them from the most important thing, which is Bitcoin. Welcome, Sina. Thanks for coming on, brother. How's it going? Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks a lot. It's great to be here. I'm super, super excited today to talk about our new effort. We've been in touch for such a long time and we've been thinking about the uh, ways to improve Bitcoin education in this space. So I'm glad to see uh, we are making progress and uh, happy to talk about it today. Perfect. Yes. So um, just to give a little bit of an introduction uh, to everyone who is listening, we're right now streaming this to Clubhouse. Um, so if you hear us on Clubhouse, that's great. But we're also recording this and we're going to upload this to YouTube. In the future, we will be streaming this into YouTube uh, simultaneously. And we're going to do two rooms every week. One room is going to be in English and another room will be every uh, Friday, probably in, 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 in Farsi, in Persian. So um, the format is not 100% certain yet. We want to test it out. We want to see how it's received by the audience. And later on, we might adjust the format a little bit, how we're going to do these sessions. But um, OK, so I'm going to just um, uh, throw out some 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 questions out there so we can go through them. So Sina and I, we met here on Clubhouse. Uh, it's been a long time ago, but we met through uh, Cafe Bitcoin on a uh, Iranian room and um, we noticed a lot of issues uh, in the space overall. So maybe Sina, you want to. Uh, go through the issues that we faced and why we created BitGuide. Yeah, so basically, um, it's clear that we have a lot of uh, misinformation in the space. And I've been thinking about this problem for, you know, over a year, uh, uh, a lot more since I've started uh, an educational uh, channel in, in Farsi for my own community. But um, the, I've been, you know, constantly grappling with, the, with this issue of why is it so hard to learn about Bitcoin? Obviously, there are uh, structural reasons. Uh, the topic is extremely complex. It's a combination of several uh, several fields. You know, it's basically it's famously known that Bitcoin is, you know, everything everything you don't know about money combined with everything you don't know about technology. So that makes it inherently difficult. But but my my thought was that. Uh, onboarding to the future of money shouldn't be um, that painful and difficult. And, and this route is uh, treacherous and, uh, and, and, and hard to navigate in, in a way that a lot of noobs are being sucked into these tangents, uh, you know, fake projects and fake promises that distracts them from the most important thing, which is Bitcoin. So I've been uh, basically very much concerned constantly about this issue, especially knowing that, you know, Bitcoin achieves its potential once it has um, a critical mass of ad ad adopters who understand it really, not just, you know, stacking or, 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 or here for NGU basically, right? So um, explain what is, really, what is NGU? Really... Can you explain what is NGU? Yeah, it's short for number go up. It's basically, you know, the idea that Bitcoin is engineered for, uh, to grow uh, in terms of its uh, price uh, because of its inherent scarcity and the inevitable growth of the demand. Uh, but, but generally what I feel, especially interacting with a lot of 
newcomers and people who are trying to learn is um, basically what caught their attention is is the price. And you know, quite a bit of people come to this space thinking this is a get rich quick uh, scheme where you can quickly make a lot of fiat and sell it uh, and move on with your life happily. Um, a, a small percentage stay for Bitcoin itself and for the revolution it's creating. And those are actually, and, and ironically, those people uh, are, are actually those who, who stay for the long run and benefit uh, financially the most. Uh, but, but I see a lack of proper education. And uh, I mean, you and, you and I have been talking about this a lot. Uh, and well, you know, some of the common reasons for that is there's a whole lot of money to be made in, in the business of distraction and creating uh, useless nonsense projects that would attract uh, noobs to, with fake promises that sound really exciting and they sell very well, but they're nothing more than uh, clickbait in my view. So uh, how do we, how should we fight with these uh, with this, you know, massive machine of uh, producing garbage information, uh, one of the nice uh, or maybe potential solutions that we thought of was to create an easily accessible package of good information about Bitcoin. Now, obviously, no package, no no effort will be complete, but uh, we can get. I mean, there's a, there's a whole lot of basic information that people need to know, and, and we can cover those. Then once once you have a strong foundation and good footing, uh, then you can go read the variety of resources that are out there. But basically, we have a plethora of, you know, it's a sea of information. It's so much that uh, it's basically extremely hard for people to find their way around. Yeah, and, and, and what I so, noticed in the space is that there's also a lot of analysis based on short term uh, speculation, right? Uh, when to buy, when to sell uh, and so on and so forth. So I think the conclusion that you and I came in was like there is really very little amount of material that gives uh, especially new people in the space, the possibility to basically cut through the noise and uh, understand the fundamentals of this um, global phenomenon that Bitcoin is uh, is 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 bringing. So, um, why don't you um, maybe uh, talk a little bit about <clears throat> the specifics of of BitGuide? Why should people like you know? Uh, choose uh, BitGuide, BitGuide as, a, as a platform to get educated. And by the way, before we answer these questions, just want to let everyone know, whoever is in the audience, so if you want to come up, uh, we're just going to talk through our introduction here, our brief introduction, and after our brief introduction, we can have a chat with you. So don't think this is a monologue. This is going to be a dialogue. If you want to talk with us, if you want to have a chat, uh, this is a, this is just a chat conversation as well. So every time we stream something to Clubhouse, uh, not every time, but most of the times, we're gonna also take some questions. So if you if you would like to add something to the conversation, please raise your hand. I'm gonna bring you up. Uh, once we're done with our introduction, we can we can go through them. Okay. So uh, yes, Sina, back to you, please. Right. So uh, maybe we should. Uh start by uh, a brief introduction. So basically, I have been a passionate Bitcoiner for for some time. It's It has consumed uh, quite a bit of my attention every single day since I learned about it. And uh, uh, gen uh, so, so who I am, basically, I am a uh, business professor. My job is to teach and to do research. So uh, my hope is to bring my experience and expertise and in, in instruction to to uh, sift through the noise and bring signal to people. Uh, if you want to comment on on your background a little bit as well before I move on with yeah, I would, itself. I, I would I would definitely do that. Yeah, I I was about to ask also like maybe we should have started telling people about ourselves. What do you think? But <laughs> we started, we started with, with the platform first, but that's okay. So, um, what do you teach? Can you maybe be a little bit specific? 
Uh, I teach business. Like uh, okay. there, there are uh, many subfields there, but I focus on uh, management, and uh, it, it ties in very well with uh, economics and uh, money making machines, which are companies. So that's that's what I do research on as well. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. So maybe about. Uh, me and myself, uh, just a short background. So I'm an ex-banker. I uh, have been in finance for the past almost 20 years now. Uh, I started my career in Germany in 2007, right before the financial crisis actually hit the markets. It was a pretty rough start, but uh, a big learning curve at the same time. So um, I started working in a very small um, niche uh, boutique bank, investment bank in Germany. And uh, I ever since have lived in multiple countries. So after my experience there, I moved to the US. I lived in the US for a year. And um, uh, after that, I, I, I worked for about five years in Dubai. And uh, after that, I, I, I lived in Switzerland for a while and now I'm residing uh, uh, in, well, actually, I reside in Portugal still. So we'll see where, where I'm going to be headed next. But uh, yeah, so uh, that was the start of my career. I've been into the financial industry for a while now and I have been <clears throat> hopping around small boutique banks and the focus of my career has been in the traditional markets uh, brokerage. So uh, everything to do with Forex, uh, foreign exchange, um, derivatives, futures, options, uh, stocks, all sorts of security trading. Uh, I was part of the dealing desk. I was part of the sales team uh, throughout the, uh, the career I was, I, was, I was going through. So uh, I come from the traditional side and ever since 2017, that was the first time I heard about Bitcoin. And uh, my first exposure was like, what the heck? What is this thing, you know? I was like, let's buy a little bit and see what's gonna happen. Everybody was talking about it back then. I remember it was like $17,000 per coin. That was like, you know, ridiculous. And, um, um, you know, after my first uh, purchase, uh, obviously, I hit the top and it crashed down to 3,800 and I sold it at like 4,500 something, you know. Uh, so I was, I was a tourist as well. And uh, the, the time where I really got engaged was in 2018. So one year later, when uh, I was headed for a project in the bank I was working at. It was a quote unquote crypto project. So that got me interested into the blockchain space, you know. So um, this is where I got to, you know, I was really, really um, trying to understand this thing. And it took me a while until I really could get my head around it. So the first time was like really serious exposure and also, you know, studying. Of, of it was around mid 2018. Yeah, that's about me. And ever awesome. since, yeah. and ever since, I'm 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 a Bitcoin addict. You can you can call me a Bitcoin addict. Bitcoin junkie. Bitcoin junkie, exactly. So, yes. Fitting, fitting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, it's it's always fun to hear about these uh, stories. Uh, my my exposure goes back to 2016, where I was teaching a class on. Uh, on business, I uh, I don't want to go to specifics. Um, you can if you want, uh, but you don't have to. Because you, you can, yeah, you can get triangulated. Yeah. Uh, with with that, but but basically, um, the first I learned about it as this new technology that allows you know information sharing. So that was my angle. That was that 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 was what caught my attention to, you know, have this uh, immutable uh, distributed database. Uh, that's not in anybody's control. And supposedly that was revolutionizing information, sharing a business, which is extremely important and extremely important topic. Um, but, but over the years, I discovered that uh, pretty much everything around, everything I was reading 
uh, on on <laughs> with, with Google searches and stuff about this. Everything about the you know promising was nonsense. Of blo blockchain applications to this and that was just noise. Yes, and 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 a waste of time. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people's time has been similarly wasted because they didn't really understand what Bitcoin is. Now, particularly, uh, I had bought into this idea that you know. There is this blockchain technology, and Bitcoin is just an instance of that. If you're interested in digital money, otherwise, blockchain is the real thing. Um, and I really didn't fully grasp uh, the revolution and the potential of this new uh, invention of Satoshi's. Uh, but I was lucky uh, to not get involved in in in, in the scams at that point, because particularly because I was so poor, so poor, I was in the middle of a PhD program, drinking out of a fire hose, you know, having to read <laughs> two, 300 but pages otherwise, every but, week. But so otherwise, there you, was no... you, 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 you probably would have shitcoined otherwise. Probably, yeah, oh, of course. Uh, conceivably, yeah. So yeah. Uh, basically, I got to take a break from it, and then after it crashed, uh, I started, you know, learning a little bit here and there about it. First, you know, you get a bit, a bit uh, scared about this whole space if once you see that huge drawdown. But uh, uh, you, you learn, you continue to learn, and one by one, I, I got rid of the FUD that, uh, you know, was kind of distributed around and uh, what has created questions for me. Um, so that that journey was very, very, you know, painful and inefficient. So, uh, you know, in the beginning, you know, I, I've actually interacted with, with a, a lot of noobs. They they are here, they make money, it's all fun, but they're also, you know, good people. They don't want to hurt the planet. And once they hear about, you know, Bitcoin is boiling the oceans and using a lot of energy, you know, it, it, it's true. You, Bitcoin is using a lot of energy. But why that's not an issue, why, why Bitcoin deserves to consume all that energy? That's not something that's apparent. That's not intuitive. You don't, especially with all the nonsense that's being pushed out there with, uh, with the pro propaganda machines uh, that are that are you know experts in in, in making you believe stuff. So uh, that's kind of you know really seems outrageous to me, and that this this sheer lack of access to good information. Um, uh, and that's basically the drive, the motive that draw me to doing this. And now BitGuide, right? Yeah, so what is BitGuide? Basically, our idea was that let's bring in anything that we have learned as, you know, from the time we were noobs till now, uh, anything we've learned and that was extremely important to our understanding of Bitcoin, let's bring all that and collect it. Obviously, like I said, it's never going to be perfect, but it's going to be a huge, huge help for somebody that's just starting. So bring all that information, you know, the concept of money, the concept of inflation, the problems that are that, that, that are associated with it, uh, you know, the theoretical basis of Keynesian, Keynesian economics and monetarist views that are supporting this inflation, inflationary regime where, you know, they, they come up with very uh, powerful, powerful seeming arguments about why inflation is needed. And none of these are easy to debunk unless you're deep into the concepts. So bring all that information to people. Uh, preferably, our goal is to basically, you know, create courses, online courses that you would join uh, uh, and basically in, in a visual format, you will, you will follow the information. So uh, basically, and then, you know, covering the, the value proposition of Bitcoin, the problem it's solving in the economy, um, it's 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 expected future. Uh, it's bullish case basically. Uh, it's function. It's technology. Uh, and then there is this other monster, that's the custody and security, which kind of freaks people out. And and that's the basic driver of people keeping their money on trust on non trustworthy exchanges. So how do we how do we teach them sim, uh, in, a, in a simple way about security? And what's funny is all of these information is out there technically. So if you read 100 books and and search 500 uh, 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 blogs about these, you will learn them, but it might be too late and too difficult and too too slow. So I, we believe there is a need for, you know, this this uh, source where 
if you're interested in into Bitcoin, you will just go to this website and, and you join a bunch of open free classes about uh, Bitcoin and you spend five, six hours and however, you know, depending on how much we can do, uh, uh, watch all these classes, get the basics and foundations there and suddenly you will come out of this with with an arsenal, with a powerful arsenal of uh, uh, knowledge that will guide you throughout your journey. And especially we, we are thinking um, if a revolution is happening, we, we need to tell people about it. We need to onboard as many people, especially people we care about. Um, so so that's basically yes, that's basically the plan. So, uh, so just to be a little bit more specific, we're still working on the website. The website is not ready yet, but um, we already have created a Twitter account. I've pinned it into this room. So if you guys want to give us a follow on uh, Twitter, we're going to keep you updated once the website is ready. And uh, we are going to post every course that we are going to offer on the website of a big guide. And um, other than that, we're going to be here. We're going to be here. You can come up, you can ask us questions and even the courses. I mean, we haven't really finalized the format of the courses, but um, we could even do some courses. Uh, on closed rooms, for example, where people can come up during the course and ask live questions, right? So uh, all of this is still, you know, not 100%. The format uh, is not 100%, but we have already decided on the content and on the uh, courses that we believe are the driving um, valid um, content that newbies, especially newbies need, but also intermediaries. Like if you, sorry, not um, if you are a little bit advanced, if you know a little bit, if you already own even Bitcoin, you can still learn at BitGuide. You can learn a lot. Okay. Um, not, not, I don't want to say we know everything. Obviously we don't know everything, but, uh, as much as we know, being in this space for multiple years, having financial backgrounds and um, teaching backgrounds, as Sina has a very high level of teaching uh, background, I think we can be of value to um, to both audiences in this case. So uh, stay tuned. Give us a follow on Twitter. Give us a follow here on um, Clubhouse. <coughs> And soon on YouTube, uh, I mean, I actually wanted to live stream this today on YouTube, but um, apparently because the account is new, we couldn't do it. We had to wait for 24 hours, but I recorded this. There's going to be a video as well. We're going to upload it later and you can even see our faces if you want. So um, anything else you want to say, Sina? We actually wanted to do only 15 minutes. Now we're like 24 minutes already. 25 minutes. You just give me, give me the stage and I can go on. Sorry about it. Uh, <laughs> so basically, if, if anyone has any comment on this, uh, you know, we mentioned a few themes here. Uh, finding good information is difficult. Inf good information is scattered. Uh, and people tend to specialize in, in one field and be a lot less knowledgeable in the other field. Um, so so it's just chase for information in this space uh and also if you if you have comment any comments on this or your own journey your own experience learning about it what you think is the biggest uh shortcoming or the biggest thing that that needs to be uh worked on by the plebs um just just go on and, and share your thoughts yeah so um I mentioned that at the beginning already, but uh, just to just to uh, emphasize, uh, this is not going to be an English only platform. We're going to offer uh, courses also in Farsi and we're going to also offer rooms in Farsi. It's going to be in two languages, maybe soon even in three languages because I also speak German. So um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, Clubhouse seems quite empty, Sina. Not a lot of people are here with us, but let's hope we're going to get more traction in the future. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, we're just we're just starting. Um, yeah. We uh, announced the we opened the Twitter account like how many days ago? Four or five days ago? Not even. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe four days yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So perfect. Alrighty. Um, do we want to cover anything else? So maybe the plans for future. I mean, we are we are uh, close to getting a few products out. Um, we're working on. I'm working on on a course related to money, the concepts of money, it, its economic role, uh, the features it should have, and the features that the fiat system doesn't have. Um, <clears throat> so this, this, if you once I'm done, I will, it, it will be properly announced, and uh, people can just join. We will uh, we will have it and open, uh, have an open invitation to anyone who wants to join. We will talk about. Uh, money and what it means, um, uh, what it does, misconceptions and so forth. Uh, I believe that's the first thing you need to understand about Bitcoin that it that it's money and what what are its features as money. Um, then um, you I know are are working on uh, Bitcoin custody, so yes. we will pretty soon have two courses related to. Uh, one about the technology, one about the economics, and we will expand the expand these. Our plan is to, we have planned at least for something like seven or eight different courses. Uh, generally, they should be you know one or two hours long, depending on how far our energy you know just takes us, because uh, uh, we are doing this uh, you know on the side, right? So uh, yes, we have to earn fiat as well. Uh, and that, and that's that's what kind of slows us, but we will see. Uh, and uh, what we will basically need is if people know there are if 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 there know platforms where uh, there are people trying to learn about Bitcoin, just share our message with them and have them watch our content uh, before they they make bigger decisions about uh, which projects. Yes. To join so, products to so buy. So if that you are support. if you're a Bitcoiner and you know about Bitcoin, if you want to do your friends and family a huge favor, you send them to us because uh, we're gonna have a safe place for newbies to learn about Bitcoin. We're gonna protect them from all the scams. We're gonna protect them from all the shit coins, and we're gonna guide them through the entire rabbit hole. Perfect. Sina. Awesome. So our goal basically for this session was to introduce the whole yes. uh, plan and talk about, you know, our concerns um, and, and basically the, the, the issues we, we see and we try to work on. So I believe we've covered everything we wanted. Uh, and if there's what do you think? Yeah, I think I think we we, we, we discussed everything already. So uh, if anyone is wondering why our voices both come through uh, one account here on Clubhouse, I got a message. Uh, why is why is Sina's voice coming from the same account as yours? So the reason is because we are we are recording this with video at, at the same time. So and um, uh, we are having actually a conversation through Skype and we are recording this because we want to publish this not only on Clubhouse, but also on YouTube. So that's the reason why you hear both of us. Good. All right. Yeah, See that now. can look weird. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe we can change that in the future, but I have to look for a solution. I don't know how I would do that, but uh, yeah, Clubhouse is a little bit tricky. But, um, but 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 uh, but but Arky has developed this uh, thing where um, uh, you know there's a setup where you can be on Clubhouse or Skype or some other place and then have your voice and uh, video broadcast to several pla platforms. So this will once we figured it out, figure it out perfectly. Uh, this will allow us to simultaneously you know do a space and Clubhouse and maybe YouTube. Uh, we'll see how far the technology supports this. Yeah, step by step. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, oh, podcast. 
we didn't talk about that. So yes, um, we will also try to produce maybe maybe have these calls. So this was uh, you know our, our episode zero, uh, but from now on you know weekly we will have rooms um, that will a- answer questions and uh, provide some educational content, and, and those will also go on uh, edited and and put on as podcasts. So. Uh, that's another potentially helpful resource for people who are trying to follow us and learn. Definitely. Definitely. Perfect. Sina, um, let's wrap it up. What do you say? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Good. All right. Then uh, thank you for, for your time. And I'll see you on Friday, right? Friday, we're going to do another room in Farsi. We're going to introduce BitGuide in Farsi on Friday. Awesome. Take care. Awesome. Well, thanks everyone who joined. We will see you soon. See you soon.